cold wave which made my face numb. The first thought that came to my mind was, geez, what did I do? <laughs> and Sam is going to speak, from, Sam from India is going to speak to us about an alphabet suit of ASP.NET MVC4. Sam. ASP.NET MVC4. So there's, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft has given us so many new features um, with um, ASP.NET MVC4. And I'm going to take a liberty of just going deep diving into funding, notification support, and web APIs and stuff today. And uh, you know, I'll probably be planning to cover the rest of it in my oncoming presentations. So some of the new features that's currently available with um, .NET 4.5 is um, bundling, minification support, web APIs, real-time communication with SignalR, asynchronous support, and database migrations. Okay, so how many of you are familiar with um, bundling and minification? Oh, right on that. Good. So client-side operation is important as server-side operations as of today. And as client-side operation increases, the number of JavaScript files also increases. So currently what we are doing is from the maintainability of code side of things, we are, you know, like we are having all the JavaScript files as separate files. So, so but what, what the limitation with the browsers is the brow all browsers limits the parallel request. So when, when the limit exceeds it, it, it puts the request in a separate queue. So to overcome this limitation, what we do is we combine all the JavaScript file into one file, which is not the optimal way of doing things. So the ideal way to do things is to have it, um, you know, bundle this um, JavaScript on the fly. So with ASP.NET 4.5, we, we are having this great feature called bundling and unification, which is what what that means is that, uh, which which enables us. Uh, to bundle uh, JavaScript files um, you know, on during the runtime and minifying, mini which, which, which means that removing all the white, white spaces and uh, unwanted characters. So what that means is this is a great win for us. Um, I, as um, working for Sharp NBC, I have done this um, you know, in the past many years. I've manually edited the JavaScript files, removed the white spaces, and I'm, I'm very happy to see that Microsoft has you know, finally realizing it and giving this support for us to uh, to use this feature. So this is going to be a good performance um, win for us um, and uh, you know especially reducing the size of HTTP requests. So how does it work? Okay. So this is this is the before and after picture. So if you look at um, the first screen here, so I've got separate JavaScript files of the JavaScript request and uh, four different JavaScript requests and size of the request is uh, 503 KB. Whereas uh, this is the after effect of how we did after minification, um, uh, after bundling and minification, the size it, it has just re uh, reduced into just one request, and the size is only 359 KB, which means that you know the application is going to um, perform much faster. So how do we do this? So it, it's very simple with um, Microsoft Dartnet 4.5. So we have in global.ASCX we are updating. Um, uh, you know, we're just including this um, new class called bundle table, and then um, and also we, we have to update the view. So currently, if you look at the view, the, these are the um, you know any um, open layer .css HTML. These are the separate JavaScript files that are currently referred. So what we should uh, with the with the new bundling uh, bundling and modification, we are removing this four JavaScript files references, and then we are replacing it just with one single file. So what that means is that during during the runtime, uh, 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 if we are able to just uh, you know, uh, if the uh, minification and bundling all happens during the fly. So as part of um, there is also something called um, it also uh, offers a custom bundle class. What that means is that requires to bundle only specific files. 
So that so primarily the bundle table function is the prebuilt one, but also we have the facility to have a custom table bundle plan so that we can we can uh, uh, bundle and manage the required files that we need. So this pretty much the you know, talks about the bundling and minification. I'm going to jump on the next feature. It's called the Web API. So I think we are all familiar with uh, Web API. So currently we have um, 4,535 Web APIs that are available. So if, if we are calling uh, Twitter or if we are calling Facebook, Google, we are all using Web APIs. So right now this is spreading. This is like uh, this is one of the hardest uh, technology and and people who are familiar with the WCF Web API, that, that's nothing but it's just called um, ASP.NET Web API right now. So Web API, um, you know, if it, one of the limitations with current um, uh, is uh, current WCF Web API is that the result set is tied to a JSON result set, but with whereas ASP.NET Web API, we have the liberty of you know, getting back. Uh, the results depending on who is requesting it. It could be HTML or uh, it, it could be an XML. It could be a JSON. So that is that's a great um, added benefit um, of going with uh, the new uh, Web API. So that's what I was talking about. The Web API will return data based on requesting point. So it's based on the requesting point capa um, the ca uh, capabilities, it will choose the right data format to send back to the client. So this is the, what I've read so far is that the data the format that's currently supporting is JSON and XML. So one of the great one of the features that I really like about Web API is it's called the um, uh, it's the content negotiation. I think I just explained. Um, so which is nothing but the uh, it will return the data on uh, it will return data based on the question point, and the also it supports um, the full fetch routing, including uh, route parameters and constraints. So ideally, I mean, ASP.NET 4.5 gives us a lot of features that would increase the programmer's productivity. And we just talked about um, bundling and web APIs. And this is these uh, real-time communication, asynchronous support, and database migrations. I'm planning to cover in my next. Week. Thank you.